currently right now I'm actually focused on an initiative that we call and, and directly have my hands in an initiative we call Reimagine OCIO. And in that effort, what I am trying to do is, is really focus on four priority areas. One is how do we leverage cloud to get the maximum benefit out of data within the agency? Two is how do we improve our cybersecurity posture uh, as an agency? And these are in no particular order. Three, how do we improve service delivery? Uh, we do have an operations shop that delivers services across the portfolio, and we want to improve uh, service delivery. Um, and the fourth area that we're focused in on uh, in particular is testing emerging technology and getting an understanding of the way that we can pilot emerging technology, create a ripple effect from an educational perspective across the department, and then identify emerging technologies that can have an enterprise impact within this agency and, and really improve quality of service and improve uh, the ability to lower costs significantly from a service delivery perspective. Any federal employee should be asking themselves, why shouldn't I move to the cloud? I mean, you know, this the idea that you in the government can invest as much in your infrastructure and compete with the large cloud vendors and the automation they've created, the environments they've created, the security model they've created, and it's been tested over and over again. Uh, I, I was at GSA for 10 years when FedRAMP was standing up. There's absolutely no reason not to look there first. That Those solutions available to us at, they accelerate us. It takes literally six months off a project schedule if you move to a FedRAMP solution. We're, we're committed to cloud. Uh, it's a priority. We're committed to cloud because we think it improves security. We think it improves data sharing and data accessibility. And it gives us elastic flexibility from a, scale, from a scaling perspective, right? It also moves us from a CapEx environment to an OpEx environment, which is extremely beneficial for us. I think that the approach that we're taking to move to cloud in a smart manner because we want to leverage cloud to, to drive the most benefit that we can drive from data. And, and the approach that we're taking is we're saying that there are multiple ways that you can move to cloud. You can, you can go and build customized microservices. You can move data, index it, and go and build customized microservices. Uh, that is really good for services that have historically been performed by government technology, got technology that was built in-house. Why? Because it fits with the culture. They're used to managing maybe their own technology. Maybe they have a surveillance capability that's not really something that the commercial sector does. And building customized microservices allows them to engage and continue to manage their business process. And there's no cot in the marketplace that can fulfill that need. I mean, I think that the reimagine the secretary and deputy secretary's reimagine initiative at large has created a space where we can think about modernizing the agency. And I'm going to just point out a couple things that our secretary and deputy secretary did that I think is truly what's driving transformation. They started with the business owner. They started with the business owner and they said, "What are your problems, and how could we improve the outcomes with with how you, with which how you operate?" Right. Uh, and then, and starting now, they started with actually reimagining the technology function to support those outcomes, right? So reimagine HHS is, let's talk to the business owners and how can we improve maybe health outcomes? How can we improve the way we deliver HR services? How can we improve insights into prices paid in terms and conditions? And as they developed a model that would drive better value for them, then they pulled in the technology function and said, how can technology drive and enable the outcomes that you guys have established as a group? I think the second thing is modernization is less about technology and it's more about engagement with people and a strong change management strategy and reimagine which the secretary and deputy secretary kind of founded here at HHS. Reimagine is that. It's the change management umbrella that allows you to create insight and to create excitement around ideas at a horizontal layer across all of our operating divisions and allows you to create consensus and agreement on a new approach and a new way of doing business. Um, so our approach has been people first, mixed with an understanding of what is the best business process and drive change management directly from the secretary and the deputy secretary saying, these are my priorities, modernizing HR, uh, providing insight on prices paid in terms of condition and the function of acquisition, 
sharing data. These are my priorities. You guys tell me how to implement it. And once they outline the business process that'll be most beneficial, then they look to technology to become an enabler of that modernization effort. So for me, that's kind of the key thing uh, that I've seen in the in the 18 months that I've been at this agency. Absolutely, and I, and I would just say change management in HHS, um, it's just the key to everything. And what what's emerging really around the cloud platforms, especially are these communities of practice. There, there's a significant engagement that's just um, bubbling up because people are all landing in similar spots with similar problems. So what we find either through the CIO councils, um, through our HRIT uh, discussions, our HR director discussions, is that people are, you can no longer de-link the technology from the business practice. We're buying COTS products. Those are the business practices. So really, we become advisors on how best way to implement a business practice because we're buying COTS solutions, whether it's financial management, personnel system, whatever it may be.